I will finish the post which I started in respect to Kinmen at Taiwan. Uh, this is a post that I just posted here. It's got 10 views. Wow. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Blogger. Thank you, YouTube. <clears throat> Very nice of you. Um, and I pointed out something that um, American politicians have worked along the Taiwan politicians for a very, very long time. Americans gave uh, full assistance to uh, Taiwanese top politicians so that the transition of Kinmen uh, would go as smoothly as possible. This video basically because there is 55,000 Taiwanese troops stationed on the island of uh, on the islands of Kinmen, where I was delivered probably on some 50 occasions. Do you understand what I stated right now? During MK Ultra, I was delivered to Kinmen Islands probably on some 50 occasions. Five zero. Uh, its purpose was to literally bully, intimidate Chinese side. Uh, and what makes this case interesting, just as with cases of other locations where I was hijacked by American Central Intelligence Agency from United States of America. Uh, one thing I'm going to say, as soon as I published this post, it was the news about Donald Trump that surfaced all over the place. It's like he would spark plug and he would be seen like everywhere. The thing is that this was really, really what makes this case really, really interesting is, is that <clears throat> when delivered to, when hijacked to uh, Kinmen Islands from Taiwan, yeah, we always came from Taiwan. This was the Taiwanese politicians, uh, a couple, one couple, there's only a few houses there. I'm talking about what I'm referring to you right now is year 2002, 2003. Well, we're talking about well over 20 years back in time, 21 years back in time. All through, I was there already before many, many times. Also with the mentioned family. Probably, I don't know, minister, prime minister, I don't know what it is. Uh, and they had a house, which was very, very seldom. Uh, this was the only house uh, I felt like on a fucking island. Wow. There were other housing projects, other houses around. Later, I also realized that it's very, very, very unpopulated place where I was delivered. And it was absolutely, they guide me through the island. Demonstrated me everything that uh, that island had. And what, what's really interesting is in 2003, 2002, and even before that, um, but in, in, in 2002 and 2003, uh, what, what made it really, really interesting and different was that they, um, it involved Joe Biden. Joe Biden and Donald Trump were involved all along. Nah, I'm not going to go into this stuff. These are like two partners, uh, that worked as one behind the scene and uh, on occasion uh, just like many times before i was severely physically tortured uh, then i was delivered to these islands and so on and supposedly that i was tortured by the chinese whatever uh, then i was delivered to these islands which seems to me i was tortured on taiwan alone then i was delivered to the kinmen islands <clears throat> And on Kinmen Islands, probably in company of Joe Biden, uh, I was I was on Kinmen also already with the Joe Biden. I also sailed with American warship through the Strait of Taiwan, uh, China, uh, which was equipped, according to Joe Biden, with nuclear capable missiles. Yeah, but that was on other occasions, uh, like 2000 and, I don't know, 2012, 2013, maybe something like that. 
Uh, and um, what makes it really interesting is that the information about my whereabouts in MK Ultra whereabouts, I did not even know where the fuck I was. Uh, once I was told I was in uh, in Taiwan uh, and pointed out literally on the other side that's that's China uh, that I am safe here in Taiwan. Uh, this is a type of stuff that went on, and they presented to me this island like my kingdom. You know, like this is your temple. This is your uh, historic places like this is this is your place this this is your this palace they have some beautiful palace and so on uh, what is yours you know everything was mine everything was mine and on the other side was just uh, basically evil china right there and um, from uh, taiwan uh from kinmen islands uh that's interesting i don't know how the fuck that happened i was delivered straight to China and for taking side against China on this islands on this Kidman Islands uh, when I came you know, be, this was like a beginning like 2000 already I was acknowledged like an enemy by this uh, on, on the Chinese soil on a Chinese soil Kidman Islands let me demonstrate you just like I did over there on, uh, you know, this this is a job basically I already did. Yeah, fuck that. Let's do this. So you can see basically there are cities like, I don't know how to properly pronounce that, Shanman, Shan, Shanman and Quanzhou and Zhangzhou. Uh, when I was delivered to Shanman, Shanman, uh, and there were some girls also involved in it, and people that were involved in it. People fucking hated me, man. <laughs> they had me walk on the sidewalks. And I would have people that were involved in MK Ultra uh, passing next to me, and it appeared like some people rushed from the jobs to scream on me, and so on and so forth. And I had a good idea now about what the fuck went on, because American government wanted to make sure that I understand uh, then it was really a torture procedure that went on. More and more eccentric, crazy stuff started to happen on Chinese soil. And finally, American politicians, such as those from Republican Party with Donald Trump, appeared in that background. They started to surface like a fucking mushrooms out of absolutely everywhere. Uh, laughing at me. Um, and meanwhile, I was told by Chinese on a million occasions, I'm dead and so on, laughing at me because they did a really, 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 really good sale. Yeah, this is how uh, American politics, basically, that's how basically they work. I don't know how much the people of Taiwan are acquainted with this procedure. Uh, I don't think they are. Um, but today I will fuck a lot of people out there uh, really fuck them by saving, I think, a lot of lives instead. Yeah. So, um, it did not end there. It did not end there. I returned back. I returned to... You know, this did not happen only one time. It happened on quite a few occasions. I don't know who was the president of Taiwan. Taiwan president. 2003 was a male guy, I remember. Yeah, there you go. Shen Shui, whatever. And, uh, yes, I think this was the guy. Pretty much, I'm certain that this was, this was the guy. And on our way, we traveled back here to uh, Taiwan. They repeated this procedure on quite a few occasions in 2002 and 2003 and 2004. Uh, seems like they wanted to kill God in me. And I was just, uh, I didn't like the idea about uh, being intimidated. And um, the idea, the core idea that somebody would threaten somebody's national sovereignty. So the Taiwan is so small and China is so big. And I took the side of Taiwan even more 
uh, and it appears that I was considered as like a factor that was literally poisoning the people's mind about their sovereignty. I was accused that I'm toxic, that I uh, that wherever I go, that people just uh, start to uh, look for their national identity and uh, for such issues. So I became <laughs> I became uh, extremely, uh, in certain sense, extremely. <laughs> maybe the most unpopular person on the planet in many senses because wherever i came people sensed freedom uh it was like they, there is an island uh free man or whatever it is island uh island of the man and whatever island and they always during mk ultra this is you this is your island island of the, the man you're the man uh, but in, in the background of it all, uh, it was a trouble that started to surface. I did not understood at all what the fuck went on. I was a political person that firmly believed, drugged a person that firmly believed that human beings have the right to, to their sovereignty and so on. And so uh, that this is an island, I figure out why the fuck would you not leave these people alone in their island so they can have their country and be in peace and do whatever they want to do just leave them the fuck alone you know because uh, it's 100 miles distance taiwan from china it's not it's like 160 kilometers very far uh, but i came to terms which joe biden already came to terms together with Trump, they figure out that there will be a way. They're, they studied the geographics and uh, decided we'll just cut like a cancer cells. You know, like a cancer cell. They're talking to me about cancer, having a cancer, what I'm going to have to cut to survive from cancer. And uh, came to conclusion that the Kinman Islands would be better off for Taiwan to just cut them off. Uh, and there will be no altercation between the Taiwan and China. So <clears throat> I'm going to save you lives today. Uh, it's really interesting and important to note about what is this man's name? Um, uh, let me see this again. Ma Yingyu. Ma Yingyu. He doesn't look like he had a glasses like this. Yeah, let me see that. My you you. This is one hundred percent he. Um heh. this here. Who is this man? Is it not available to say? Yeah. Okay, cool. It was like this, like this guy here with the glasses, like this, exactly like this. Exactly like this, you know? Exactly like this. And um Chen Shui Ban, Chen Shui Ban, like this, like this. This is perfect. Let's see this guy here. You know, this guy was actually, uh, this guy was a, a pleasant guy. He acted like a nice guy. Uh, he acted like very, very, very pro Taiwan. Uh, very, very, very patriotic pro-Taiwanese and that he liked me and so on you know all that kind of stuff all that kind of stuff uh, but he definitely knew much 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 more about what went on around me than what I did you know so here we can is this he ex-leader released from prison on medical parole oh fuck they had him in meanwhile in prison really 
that's a funny thing. No, the, the thing is that uh, I am not happy about this stuff. So the, the video I am making today um, from this island, from this, uh, you know, uh, I was going to say thanks to... <coughs> Thanks to the Google founders, we have really limited uh, ability to browse maps. Now they became very, very serious about making things tough job to browse the fucking maps. So, okay, now I am punished. I cannot even click on a fucking map. So this is just wonderful. Yeah. This trips to... Kinman Islands, and then there is another island that we had, which is really close to a Taiwan that I'm going to demonstrate. It is so alive in my head. I mean, it's so unforgettable, this stuff. Um, yeah, I should just probably click here, uh, Taiwan, like this, and now we have to figure out basically how to see the fucking map. This trick will not do the job because it does it like this so this is really they're really getting more and more innovative at, at google at the google they are they are becoming more and more this does not work okay so i am out of uh, ideas on how let me see maybe what do they have now today going on here china trying to normalize military drills taiwan plays a bad check uh-huh uh-huh we're gonna do it like this we're gonna do it like that let's see here yeah you know what it would be interesting to see just like the news was with uh with the donald trump they started to pop him up everywhere it would be really interesting to see No, I don't see any news that would be anything that would that would be considered to me as an answer or something. Sometimes I see the news. There was a lot of stuff during MK Ultra. They told me, and if you will say this, we will do that. And many times when I published certain news, because this news is not with the 10 news, it's not with the 10 views. Uh, it's with a lot of people. A lot of this is a this is a big financial theft, by the way. It's a big financial ripoff stuff I do. I get exactly zero cents I earned so far for all my work I did. That's how they do with the psychiatric gag and forced unemployment. They they do their stuff like this. They would what they would do is they told me that once you're going to publish, if you if you ever will publish something like this, I will publish something like that and this and that. Because they always have journalists involved, not Hertz. I'm not going to say million journalists. But if I tell you that in this case, participated at least 1,000 journalists, and you're talking about the people from CNN, from Fox, from 1,000 is a very low number. Okay, let's, I'll be, I'll try to be fair and say, let's say 3,000. Let's say 3,000 journalists participated in this thing because they did interacted with me directly. So that's a very, very, very like almost like a factory, basically. Talking about a lot, great number of people, also with people with the private blogs, with the people with YouTube channels, all kinds of stuff, political commentaries, and so on. Uh, if you will publish this, you will. And it happens frequently that when I publish something, there is stuff that is related. I would Google and the Google would deliver the news that I would feel myself, see myself in something that was done like to return back to me with a certain issue or whatever. Uh, the thing is that Google map is uh, going to be a little bit problematic. Uh, so, 
what I could also use in this video from this video here. Six miles. A handful of U.S. Special Forces soldiers will be stationed just six miles from mainland China. The United Daily News in Taiwan is reporting U.S. Army Green Berets will deploy to a couple of amphibious camps. At yeah, yeah, this is okay. It's okay that you that you that you see me uh, demonstrating this stuff. It's gonna make all sense. Acting as consultants to further train Taiwan's own special forces. The self-governing main island of Taiwan is about 100 miles from mainland China, but it also controls Pengu, about 30 miles to the west, and Kinmen, which is just six miles from China. Yeah, you see, on our way back, we stopped at Pengu, you know, and I came to realize that uh, this president here, that you see here, he would never ever tell me directly uh, the stuff, but he had another, uh, you know, let me, let me see what went on in 2003. Let's see what else. Let's see what else was there. And I think that was a lady, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, they have also uh, different politicians. Uh, uh, she was very deeply involved in it. They had a lady, which was this one here, because I had a really, I didn't like them at all. I had a really fucking problem with them. And they figured out there would be a female that would do. The thing is that uh, exactly do what? Do what? As I stated at the beginning of this video, I'm here today to save the lives, basically. They figure out that they would give uh, the island together with American government back to China. This is basically this kinman here is on a Chinese soil. You pay attention to it, but it would not give one without the fight because they would have to apologize this. Talking about Taiwanese politicians, they would have to apologize this to Taiwanese people. So they, together with Americans, it appears to me, are going to send the Green Berets. There will be a severe fight that will broke out, and it will be a lot of innocent people killed. Uh, as I stated, uh, island is populated mostly by the military, uh, with just few houses, um, 55,000 troops. I wouldn't want any one of you guys die for the completely, completely worthless cause, basically for being stabbed in the back, literally by your Taiwanese leadership in the country known as the United States of America, which intensified, created these tensions so that you could die for the piece of land that will be actually, I'm not going to say it should be given to China because I don't have that kind of authority, but when I go up here, when I move up here to this map here, which I charted, so that you understand today what is going on. You know, the Chinese people, very nice people, peaceful people, uh, truly became instigated by Americans. So just as you know, it was American politicians that started to instigate started to steer shit, create problems together with the British, instigate, uh, and sooner or not, believe it or not, Chinese mentality completely changed beginning in 2000, and they started to talk about uh, that they don't feel good about having uh, in front of their nose in such a big city uh, some kind of island where they don't know what is going on and so on, which is completely logical, rational, feeling a rational, logical thing to do. So what we had going on through this, through your Taiwanese government, I think you have the worst government people the world have ever seen, by the way. Uh, this, is a, this is a trash, basically. I would not fucking do other with them, but to use them as a fucking fertilizer. 
by doing this, I would save a lot of lives, for one thing. Like I'm still trying to do today. Um, if the war is going to break out, please, I'm asking you, please, do not die for a fucking worthless reason. And the same thing I am saying to American Green Berets. Do not go and lose your life over worthless cause. You know, uh, Taiwanese politicians could easily um, detention, um, easily could de-intensify, de uh, you know, craziness by, you know, having to do with the locals. Uh, you could keep the presence over there, the military presence, uh, maybe even at the same level as it was, whatever it might be. Uh, but this is here, even the two fishermen were killed by the Taiwanese military, uh, driving them into debt, basically. The two, after two Chinese fishermen drowned were being chased by the Taiwan and this and that. Coast Guard, tensions remain high and so on. Fuck this. What the fuck is this? I mean, if you are stationed over there, you should be stationed to save lives, including and especially the Chinese. This is a big fucking mistake. Stuff like this, this is just really completely insensitive and crazy schizophrenic attitude. You're not doing to anybody any good. It would much, it would be much better off if your own soldiers would die in that chase than a fisherman over there from China. John, basically, is about the worst thing you possibly can do. Uh, the thing is that um, this island is not yours. This island belongs to the people from the island which there is none. There is uh, politicians from Taiwan that own that house, and there is just a few other housing projects over there, I saw it. Um, and um, absolutely to the China, to the Chinese mainland, to Xiamen and Guangzhou. So you should fucking understand that your reckless actions against China on the Chinese soil are a big, big, big mistake in just a matter of time before your sovereignty entirely is going to be taken away from you in respect to this island, Kinmeyan. The thing is that when you are in a position like this, you should not allow Americans that drop nuclear bombs on Hiroshima, on Nagasaki, killed numerous people in Vietnam, for just about, I don't even understand what cause really. Uh, and you should not go for the people that used to sell opium to you. Uh, and you know, I don't understand how you you were capable to watch me being hijacked by Americans for this type of person. Basically. You served the United States of America to put the death curse on me. Uh, you provided Chinese, basically, with uh, sort of alibi for the crime against me. Easily could say, yeah, but you, you, that that is I. You pioneered, you supported war against China and so on and so forth. I never really did. I didn't know what the fuck went on. But the circumstances that you created sparked enormous outrage and hatred against me across the China. And this is, what, how, this is how America works. And you're going to lose lives over there because of this kind of politic, instead of which you should be touring Kinmen uh, together with the Chinese tourists and enjoying yourself over there in a relaxed atmosphere. Uh, as a coast guard on that island, 
serving your country and the Chinese people in case they need some rescue action on the sea and so on. What a stupid shit. America does for you. You see? They fix you. They fix me and they fix you too. And tomorrow, one of these days, many of you are going to go back to Taiwan in a plastic bag because of defending your homeland against your own homeland. You do have a Chinese DNA in you, after all. Taiwanese people are Chinese people. To a certain degree, to a certain extent, you are. And so it's not going to do anybody good. I'm not saying that you, you should push, the, that you should throw guns in and surrender to Chinese when they will invade your island, which I think is just a matter of time. Not your island. This is. We're going to get to that stuff on our way. So I'm just going to do this before I'm going to continue with this. It was. It was upon a very very close inspection on our way back to uh, Taiwan. It was. It was established that they will get Kinman, but they will not get Penggu. So the Penggu will be defended with everything that Taiwan has. Uh, Kinmen, however, will not be. If you understand me what I'm saying. The thing is that this is a hostile politic. It's unnecessary politic. It's placing lives, innocent lives at risk, at stake. Lives of the best that Taiwan has. Those that go to the frontier like this to serve in the military. For their homeland against, as I stated, second homeland, or probably what should be even first homeland. This is not my point. It's not, I'm not here to decide about the Taiwanese integrity, national integrity, independence, sovereignty, and so on. I will not do this because this is your matter, this is your issue, this is completely independently. Uh, it, it is yours. If you, if you want it to keep it this way, uh, I support the idea about your sovereign, national sovereignty and so on. However, as I said, none of this would be even necessary. None of this shit would even take place if it was for you, if it was for your, um, you know, your issues. If this stuff was done by your politicians for you and obviously to a certain extent together also for the Chinese, because they're very, who is more important here as a neighbor than Chinese? I don't know how much you hate them. I don't know what the fuck. But what I want to say to you is, uh, do you think you would be better off with Americans who would not even fucking exist? Uh, really? They were here one time selling you opium drugs throughout the China. They, they put you in a chain. And they did the same thing through the entire Indonesia and Philippines. They enslaved the entire Asia through chain around the neck to the people of India and so on and so forth. You know, the thing is that maybe it's still time to de-escalate and deliver the people that will understand and see themselves in my words rather than in a cyber rattling, which we all know is going to lead into only a lot of black bags, a lot of dead people that will be then repatriated in dead bags back to their mothers, fathers, wives, to, ta to Taiwan. And it's a really, really sad stuff. I'm not here to make tensions. I'm just here to save lives. You are not going to defend this. You're not, you're not going to win against China when they, when they storm you, when they rattle you with this shit. And 100% they will when you're going to have your American Green Berets coming in proximity of this thing here. Uh, you're going to... You know what the hedgehog is. In Slovenia we say, you will go and you will fuck the hedgehog. Because they're not going to take it. These cities here are giant cities. Big cities. And the people on this soil here, they did not even understood anything about 
these things, till Americans started to drive them crazy with this shit about, uh, I don't know what, man. It just started to get to them sensitive issue in year 1999, to be exact, to go into MK Ultra. And so I also want people around the world to understand how American diplomacy work. They are a fucking piece of work. They are a fucking piece of work. Lies. America, also known as a big Germany, is a fucking piece of work. A fucking piece of work. And it was a great lesson for people to see me dropped up and interact with people from around the world to see what they are all about. It's about the United States of America, but also about Britain and Germany and so on and so forth that I'm not going to open my mouth. So you could, they could see, you could see firsthand what this looks like. It doesn't look good unless you're going to come to the table together and talk with one another. Whatever goes on in Taiwan, this is, I deem, only business of, of Taiwanese people that, however, despite everything, I think as a politician, as a fair politician, uh, to the certain extent, you should be obligated to work with the Chinese government absolutely, in absolutely every sense when it comes to the arming yourself. When it comes to weapons such as nuclear arsenal or something like that, allowing Americans, and even this I'm going to say to you, one thing is when you operate this type of weapons, and something completely different is when you have Americans operate this. When you operate, you know, the Chinese side knows it's you. But when you station the troops, uh, you know, <laughs> how the fuck can I say? It can be more fucked up. It cannot be more fucked up. Than, it can be more fucked up. Because you deliver you know, in proximity of a really country just as big as United States of America, uh, something that is, that is simply uh, is known to basically look, especially because of this case, people have seen, is known to steer the shit whenever he comes, is known to steer the worst and do the real estate sales and so on. Already based on the American characters with Chinese, had opportunity, experienced, by watching me, they learned what kind of treachery this is, what kind of bullshit this is, what kind of lie, what the fuck this is, knife in the back, and so on, how they treat their citizens, and so on. You don't do this. You may want to step to the table, you want to de-escalate as fast as possible this territory here, this, this uh, Kinman Island, uh, Kinman Islands, and uh, make this more like a tourist stuff. It's what I would do as a Taiwanese president. I would keep troops, military troops. I would keep them. Uh, I would keep them. I'm going to say I would keep them here for about, not in a number like 10,000. And foremost would make use out of them through the Coast Guard. I would make like a Kinman Coast Guard uh, type of issue that would be patrolling here, that I would use this place here for soldiers from the mainland, from Taiwan actually, to exercise, train them in certain conditions, and uh, uh, basically use them as a workout place to do the workout and stuff like this, and uh, um, basically... Where we were located, there was no houses. There were very, very few, very, very few. But on the other side of the island, which means that we were located on this island, on this side here, which is where it says this here, this Yinsha, and I think that this is what this was. Shen Qing Ji Nyo, something like this. Actually, probably that this park here, it was very, very, very unpopulated. I had no idea. The thing is that a nice word, lepo beseda, neither lepo beseda, neither lepo mesto, like we say in Slovenia, is a kind word, finds a kind place, 
uh, I don't know. I don't know that anybody in China would have anything against you, really. I don't think the Chinese are bothered with you. Uh, I don't. I think to them it's it's a fun thing that 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 right in front of this cities here. It's actually something that you know. Why don't you make this place like a duty free or something like that? Why don't you make a fucking exclusive attraction for people so they can come here, they can have fun, they can, they can, uh, you know, they can. Uh, yeah, that's right. In 2003, this 2003 was really groundbreaking because in 2003 they started, I think, even direct connection with the China. I think something like this boat or something like this, whatever it was, that would start to sail to probably what is this Shenzhen or whatever. Um, I don't know. I did not go through this, uh, through this island. I didn't even, even look one. I just want to video record this stuff when I have time. Oh, so this is what it is. Fortress, you know, tunnels, actually fort. This, this must have been the island. This is also Kinman, yeah. But uh, this also is Kinman here too. This is Kinman too. So this here, this is this is the island I'm talking about because they told me there's no people here. There's no, there's just really really exclusive here. It's just for like for the most exclusive this place. They were not generous with information. And really was like you turn the TV with remote controller. This is what is this view. And turn it off. Basically putting in my head issues that issues that they Kinman County and so on. Uh, they uh, they felt like whatever uh, it was important for them. This is wonderful because you don't know what the fuck is going on around you. They pose next to you. You're tortured. They pose next to you and sleep deprived. And they get to portray your reality the way they want to portray one. And I'm telling you that what waited me here, rightfully so. Rightfully so because, I mean, what the fuck, I mean. They started to rattle with the American military that they're going to bring American military and stuff like this and so on. Uh, that they're going to expand all these things. Literally, they were using me in such a way, basically, to, to suggest indirectly through the MK Ultra option. Uh, like, come, you know, Kinman is yours. And then on the other end, the signal, you know, the presence of a large military, and on the other end, signal the U.S. military coming and so on. So, you know, when you think about this fucking funny neighbor, that's, you have to admit that you have a fucking neighbor like this is, is behaving like, like, you know, like the China is Taiwan and Taiwan is China or something like this. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, if something like this is going to take place, I just want you to know about this case. In that case, it's not worth it for you to go back to Taiwan in a body bag. Your healthy logic will tell you that you will not be capable to defend these islands from Chinese forces. When they assault you, they're going to run you like a like you'd never fucking existed. And it's going to be up entirely up to you whether you will want to go back to Taiwan in a dead in a black bag or like a man, like a human being alive. Cause the truth is, the favor your debt is not going to do to anybody other than to the politicians that are corrupt Thailandese politicians. The only option for this place is literally to de-escalate, to make it friendly, tourist, casino, uh, turn your military into the Coast Guards to make sure that they work together with the Chinese here. Uh, this is what your military should be about. If you want to be different from Chinese, try to get better financially. 
not uh, more technology, technologically military wise uh, aggressive uh, towards, like I said, I mean, you share the same human DNA too. These are the issues definitely to consider. That's all I wanted to do for this video. Uh, I want to warn you about this American Green Berets that are coming to train you. And in case the war is going to broke out, uh, you do whatever it takes to protect your lives. Rather than, you know, that's all I wanted to do. But this is also a good video for other countries around the world, for other people that uh, watch my program, visit my blog, that you understand basically what happens when you deliver Americans, uh, when you get involved in this kind of stuff, what happens, how the news travels, with what speed news travels. It travels faster. In 2003, 2002, it felt like my stay, my visit, the abduction, the hijacking to Kinman Islands was literally transmitted live to throughout the entire Shanaman. And Shanaman was, they were mad. People in Shanaman were completely mad. And it was later that people in Guangzhou and Zhangzhou would find out about, they would also join me here, they would also meet me and so on. I was really, really cursed. You know, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. It's okay. Uh, but, of course, it's not okay to be a citizen of the country like this, uh, of American, uh, you know, United States of America. That's, of course, that's not okay. Uh, and also, of course, it's not okay to be labeled as good as dead, you know, because of, you know, what United States of America have used the opportunity for the British to, you know, to do it like this from behind, yeah. So, thanks for watching this video. Uh, stay alive, stay well. What a beautiful piece of world you have. This, this, this place here, this, this Kinman. Yeah, I, I remember now. I remember now. It, it is more, it is more, it's, it's, it is more housing. No, this place, this Yevu, <sighs> this was like a random. We would also, I would also be taken here. But uh, main, the main thing was not happening in Liu. The main thing was happening here in this Kinman County. Um, I don't know. I'm just so absorbed with this family from Taiwan, this family that had house, these private politicians that had their house, um, they would keep me away. They would not, uh, we would go hiking and stuff like this. It was stuff like that. It was things. It was different things. But most of the time, this was, this was just like, like you turn the TV on and turn the TV off, basically. Even when you walk, you know, it makes no fucking sense. Basically, you drop that like a prisoner, you know, like I saw these old movies, like the prisoners, they work in the swamp like 100 years ago uh, in, uh, I don't know, New Orleans swamp or something like that, when they had these prisoners and stuff and they would sentence them, or like in Siberia, you know, they had to walk and like every day, like a nigger, you know, work like a nigger. I was a nigger. I was a nigger. I felt like I was a nigger with a chain around my neck, basically. And it makes no fucking sense what I kept the eyes open or kept the eyes closed. I just had to take it from whichever side it came. Whichever, whichever way I knew to survive, basically, to survive. You know, this is how long this shit went on. It went on so long that I became insensitive about abuse, about the stuff they were doing. I didn't even care about anymore if I would return alive or not. Actually, I did because this is how I stayed alive. Cry, I to cry, I forgot. I no longer knew how to smile and how to laugh.
yes i was all over that i don't i don't like the idea i don't like the idea about this this is a fucking nasty place this was a fucking slovenian police filled hell in heaven place Don't lose your life for the shit like this. Don't li don't lose your life for the dreck like this. That's not worthy. Take care of yourself.